Okay, so you and your spouse have talked about divorce, and you and your spouse, or you or your spouse, is trying to get prepared for the whole process before you go see your divorce attorney. Um, and some of the scenarios I'm going to talk here, I'm going to try to word them such that I could be talking about the spouse leaving the house or the spouse keeping the house. Stick with me. I've got my trusty notes here. So, um, starting off, my name is Brad Lynch. Um, also known as your mortgage guy for life. I'm an RMLO with Premier Nationwide Lending. Lending. NMLS number 75333. What that means in uh, good old boy uh, layman's terms is I'm a loan officer and I do loans here in Texas. I've been doing this for a while um, and I like to help families. So, um, so when you get to, when you get when you meet with your attorney, he's going to have pages of questions where you may go in and check mark yeses and nos, answer questions, and many of the questions that are going to be on that I can't help you with, but the ones about the house I can. Um, some of the questions might involve, um, you know, what's your house worth, um, what's your current balance on your on your mortgage if you have a mortgage, and um, do you have enough money if there's if there's equity in the house do you have enough money to pay your spouse out of pocket or do you need to include that in the refinance um, a lot of those things I, you know because I'm a mortgage person and I'm in the real estate business and I have relationships I can kind of do some estimating for you on the, on the value of your home uh, and then we, I can also talk to you about okay once we get to the value of your home here's how much equity you have if you have a refinance it's gonna cost this much uh, in closing costs, so take that out of the equity, and this is what you're splitting with your spouse. Uh, or if you're going to sell the home, here's what it costs to sell the home. Um, realtor fees, closing fees, title fees, so here's how much equity is left. So if you have questions, just keep in mind, um, I do home loans. I don't just do videos. I'm not a professional video person. As you can tell, I'm not good at this, but I'm getting my word out. Okay, so... Uh, you'll need to know who's keeping the house. You know, sometimes there's a, you know, it's a debate between you and your spouse. So you know, one person wants to keep, well, sometimes one spouse is simply, they've got memories in that house and they want to get out. And the other one is, you know, we've got kids here that has memories. They've got friends and neighbors down the street that the kids have been playing with for years and we're keeping the house. So, you'll, you know, you'll come, to, you'll come to that at some point and um, you'll want to know what to do. Now, if there is enough e equity in the house worth splitting, there's a, there's buyout. And so when you talk with me, um, my job will be after I go through all those details is, OK, it sounds like you, you know, you have one hundred thousand dollars equity in the house and the leaving spouse is going to want 50 percent of that after closing costs and everything else. Are you going to qualify for a mortgage on your own? Uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes when someone buys a house in, t in today's world, the, the husband and the wife are qualifying for the house, they're both working and everything else. Um, so now when one's leaving, now sometimes it's a little bit harder for one spouse to hold up that house as far as the mortgage goes on their own. So I can do the pre-approval just like you're buying a house, you need a pre-approval. I can prepare that for you. This is all before you go see your attorney. Um, you want to show up prepared. So that's what we're trying to do here. Um, if you want to sell the house again, I'll help you with the, figuring out the fees and all that. Um, you'll know what you have. Um, let's see, so you have two different two different things that you're going to do if you're going to keep the house you can refinance the house you would want to do I say you can some people put it off for for years and it's not a good deal you know don't put off to tomorrow what you can do today um, if you're going to refinance the house to get the leaving spouse off if you're if you're the leasing like I said I'm trying to word this both ways if you are the leaving spouse you would want to urge your spouse that's keeping the house to refinance to get you off the off the title and off the loan. The reason being is, um, let's say you divorce, and a year or two later you decide you're going to buy your own house, or five years later, ten years later, you know things are going well, and you decide to remarry, start a different family. You know, I come across clients that in all walks of life, very young, never had started a family, so they have you know whatever it may be. If you don't refinance. Or your spouse doesn't refinance you off the current loan, then you will have to eventually qualify for both homes because 
even though the divorce decree might say that that responsibility has gone to the other spouse, it's still in your credit report. And if that five years later, that spouse that's keeping the house is missing payments, guess whose credit affects and you didn't even know that they were missing payments. So the only surefire way to get someone off, off title is to refinance them. Uh, there's a quick claim deed. You probably heard about it if you're doing your homework. Some attorneys will argue about it. It's not a good way to go. Some will say it is. I've had both do it. I've had no repercussions for either, uh, for the ones that have done the quick claim deed. Anyway, um, the other the other option is if if, for example, one spouse is leaving the house and there's equity in it and you're going to try to split it up and you don't have enough cash in your pockets in the bank to pay that spouse. So now I can pre-approve you to do what's called an OLT refinance. An OLT is simply a lien on the property. So the leaving spouse is leaving. Um, they have 50, as an, uh, as an example, have $50,000 of equity that's that the decree saying is in theirs so we take an old lien which acts like a mortgage holder and stamps on on the title of that property his ownership in that equity so now if the person keeping the house wants to sell it refinance it do anything what they anything they want to do to it when it gets to the title company the title company does their homework there's going to show up an old lien and they're going to tell whoever owns the house you can't close this house you can't sell this house and close this house. You can't refinance this house until I have proof that the leaving spouse on this title work that has the old team has been paid and is good to go. And then you'll also have to, you know, obviously whoever's leaving the house, they get notified and decide how they want to receive the funds. Um, the advantages of an old team is it's not a Texas cash out, so you can actually go up to 95. You can get a home loan up to 95% of the value of that house. On a Texas cash out, if you're going to do an equity cash out, Texas only allows you to go to 80% on your on your primary residence. So many times that that's not going to take care of all the equity that you're supposed to share with your spouse. Okay, I don't know what other questions we have here. Um, so end result is you, you show up to your attorney and um, you have more answers than questions. You're prepared. You get more done. I haven't done this before. I have attorneys that I work with. I like them, good people, but I know that, that it's expensive. So maybe you show up with a little bit more answers than, than questions and it saves you a little bit of money. Um, and I can give you a pre-approval letter just like if you're purchasing a house, if you need to refinance to just get the leaving spouse off or if you need to pay off an old. If you have more questions, my name is Brad Lynch, also known as your mortgage guy for life. My cell phone number is 469-450-2723, or you can email me, B. Lynch, like Brad Lynch, B. Lynch, L-Y-N-C-H, at P. N. Lending, P. like Paul, N. like Nancy, Lending, L-E-N-D-I-N-G dot com. If you have any other questions, you can also go see my blog at yourmortgageguyforlife.com. Hope you have a great day and I hope you enjoyed the video and you got lots of good information from it. Thanks, bye.